Hi guys! Have you ever been in a situation where you found yourself speaking confidently with someone in English and then later on you found out na mali pa na ang grammar mo? So for today's topic, we're going to discuss 10 common grammar mistakes that even smart people make. Let's go! Hi! Welcome to Teacher Angel Mears Vlog. If you're a teacher, an OFW, a mom, or a student, you are in the right place. So, common mistake number one is the use of the pronoun me. For example, in this sentence, me and my sister attended a party. Think of it this way. If you are going to take out the conjunction and, does it still sound right? So, let's check. Me attended a party. My sister attended a party. Now, it should be obvious which one is right. So, this is a simple explanation for that one. Me is a personal pronoun, but it should not be used as a subject in the sentence because it is an objective. Number two. Is all right, all right? Alam nyo ba na ang katagang all right made its first appearance in 1880s wow. at naging commonly used na ito in informal writing and written dialogue. In fact, makikita din natin ito sa mga lyrics ng kanta. But no matter how popular it is, the only acceptable form in edited writing is the phrase all right. Basically, it is not all, all right to use all right in standard English. Ngayon, alam nyo na. Third okay. common mistake in grammar is mistakes with well and good. Nalilito din ba kayo kung kailan gagamitin ng well at kung kailan gagamitin ng good? Okay. In general, well is an adverb while good is an adjective. So if you are not sure which one to use, ask yourself which is appropriate for the situation. Is it an adjective or an adverb? So in this example, I am doing good in math. And another example is, I am doing well in math. Which do you think is correct? So, ang minomodify na word sa sentence na to ay doing, which is a verb. So, a part of speech that modifies a verb is obviously an adverb. So, the correct answer here is, I am doing well in math. Common mistake in grammar involves these terms, a lot and a lot. Remember that a lot does not exist. A lot is the opposite of a little. A lot, if it is used as a noun, means a large extent or a large number. As an adverb, it means to a great extent or to a great degree. Here is an example. Let us use it as a noun. Mark has a lot of toys. And as an adverb, we could say, she cheats a lot. Here po ba kayo sa line na my hair is softer and smoother? Yes po, madalas po natin itong makita or marinig sa TV commercial or any market slogan that involves shampoo and conditioner. These common grammatical errors may appear in common advertisement or market slogan but it does not work well in papers or writing. If the word requires a comparison, you should always provide it. So this is our fifth common mistake which is comparisons that are incomplete. On our sixth common grammar mistake is the use of the term regardless. Actually, this is not a word. It's simply regardless. As in, regardless of what you think about grammar, if you use it incorrectly, you will look silly. So, wala pong salitang irregardless. Pampitong common grammar mistake is the use of the expression first come, first serve. Ang tanong, yung salitang serve ba ay kailangang may letter D or, or wala? Actually, it should be served, S-E-R-V-E-D, because if without D, that would suggest na the first one who will arrive will serve everyone, which is not actually the meaning of that particular phrase. Have you heard someone say, extract revenge? Actually, yung tama po ay exact revenge because when you say or when you use the word extract, extract means you remove. So then the correct one is exact revenge. For our ninth common grammar mistake, do we say loved ones or loved ones? Alin po ba yung tama? Yung loved 
or love. The correct one actually is loved ones. Mali po yung love ones. For our 10 common grammar mistake is using who and that incorrectly. This is another one that people mix up very frequently. Remember to use who when you're talking about people and use that when you refer to things. Thank you.